Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Mighty Line Minute. Today, we'll be getting back into NFPA 101, the Life Safety Code, and one of its most important areas, that of illumination of means of egress, otherwise known as emergency lighting. Stay tuned. The NFPA Life Safety Code serves as a comprehensive guide for many safety measures within buildings, and specifically, illumination of the means of egress. This provision is critical as it assures that occupants can safely exit a building under emergency conditions. Without proper lighting, occupants may find difficulty finding their way, resulting in panic, confusion, and potential harm to individuals. Emergency lighting serves as a backup in the event of power outage, security threats, fire, or other emergencies. It provides visibility and guidance to occupants, enabling them to evacuate safely. The Life Safety Code outlines different requirements based upon the type of building or occupancy. For example, healthcare facilities have more stringent requirements due to the vulnerability of the occupants. The NFPA 101 code mandates the installation of emergency lighting in all exit access corridors, exit stairwells, and exit passageways. Additionally, emergency lighting must be placed at every change in direction, exit door, and intersection with corridors. The lighting must provide sufficient illumination for occupants to see clearly and evacuate safely with an average of one foot candle along the pathway of egress. Furthermore, emergency lighting fixtures must be mounted at least seven feet above the floor level. Exit signage must be clearly visible and recognizable by building occupants. Signage plays a crucial role in guiding occupants to the nearest exit without confusion. NFPA 101 also requires sufficient width and capacity of exit pathways to accommodate the expected occupant load. This assures that overcrowding and potential bottlenecks do not hinder the safe egress of occupants. Inverter-style emergency lighting systems use advanced technology and should always be considered as an option during both the design stage and for existing buildings. They offer much more flexibility in terms of the emergency lighting, especially regarding the means of egress travel. As opposed to the bug-eye style decentralized emergency lights found common in many warehouses, inverter style systems are centralized solutions. Their power source involves centralized batteries with distributed power to architecturally pleasing ceiling or wall lighting. Inverters can also power non-lighting loads, such as door interlocks, fire alarm systems, etc., and are easy to install. Just be sure the equipment and the installation conforms to NFPA 70 National Electric Code, also the NFPA 101 Life Safety Code, and NFPA 111, also UL 924, and where necessary, UL 1008. I know that's a mouthful, but today, compliance with codes and standards is essential. And finally, many occupancies such as warehouses or industrial manufacturing operations often employ the use of other photoluminescent tapes or markings that enhance the means of egress travel. Occasionally, tapes that have photoluminescent properties may be added that augment the existing emergency lighting systems. So in the event of power failure, not only the emergency lighting provides what's required, but the additional benefit of the photoluminescence helps aid in the evacuation of personnel. Be sure to be mindful of the maintenance and testing provisions of the code and also the minimum 90-minute illumination requirement for means of egress by emergency lighting. Remember, too, that photoluminescent signs and tapes do not replace the provision for the 90 minutes of illumination required by the code. Of course, be sure to consult the NFPA 101 Life Safety Code for details on emergency lighting, means of egress, exit signage, width of travel, travel times, and illumination. Lastly, be sure to take a look at Mighty Line's full catalog to see how their products can be helpful to you in establishing a safe means of egress. These may include striping, photoluminescence, and other signage that will help augment the existing program that you have put into place. Thanks again. We look forward to seeing you in a future podcast. Have a safe day.